Good day, everyone. We still have an active weather pattern for now, but changes are moving into the forecast. We're going to be dealing with warmer temperatures and more sunshine in the seven day. But for now, we've still got an active pattern here with a trough with colder weather aloft here, and it's going to cause some instability. When we have the colder air aloft, we get a little sunshine during the day. There's the potential there for some thunderstorms to develop, and that's what we're putting in the forecast also for Friday. And with the colder air, snow levels will be lowering to around 4,000 feet. So what that means is not only the mountains have a chance for snow showers overnight tonight, but also for the east side tomorrow. Either way, though, it looks like the accumulating snow will stay mainly over the Cascades. Some of the east side uh, locations in the valleys could see a light accumulation of wet snow later tonight through Friday. Chance for showers and thunderstorms along the coast with that colder air moving in aloft. Your lows will mainly be in the 40s for tomorrow. Temperatures back up into the 50s. We'll have clouds around, possibly mixing it with sunshine. And again, with that instability and the colder air aloft moving in with the trough, we have the chance for not only showers, but also thunderstorms. Some of these thunderstorms may produce small hail across the region. West Valley's low tonight will be in the 30s and 40s, going for 43 in Medford. A chance for some showers, maybe some evening thunderstorms. For tomorrow, Friday, we have temperatures 40s and 50s for highs, a good chance for showers. Thunderstorms will be possible. Wind becoming west northwest from 10 to 25 miles per hour. And yes, it's a kind of chaotic pattern here. We're going to have some clouds. Possibly mixing it with sunshine also during the day. East of the Cascades, lows in the 20s and 30s. We have a chance for rain showers this evening. However, up towards Crater Lake, it's going to be some wet snow. Could be some evening thunderstorms, anywhere from 1 to 4 inches possible over the Cascades. There could be some higher amounts. In the valleys, if we do get any wet snow shower activity, later tonight through tomorrow, it'll be little or no accumulation overall. And the chance also for a few of those thunderstorms during the day. Highs will be in the 30s and 40s. Some areas getting closer to 50. And yes, we'll have some clouds, possibly mixing it with sunshine. But look at this on the seven-day forecast. We go from a wet pattern and chaotic pattern, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, to more uh, warmer temperatures. High pressure building in next week for the Rogue Valley. Your highs in the 70s, possibly 80s by the middle and latter half of next week. Your lows will be in the 30s and 40s. And for the Klamath Basin, we have highs in the 40s and 50s, so an unsettled pattern right through the weekend. However, at times, we will have sunshine mixing with clouds. Then next week, more sunshine. Your highs back up into the 60s and possibly 70s. Mount Shasta City, a similar pattern. High, pattern Highs in the 40s and 50s, lows in the 30s for the most part. Next week, more sunshine. Highs in the 60s and 70s. And for the coast, our highs will be in the 50s overall. And then next week, back into the 60s. Lows will mainly be in the 40s to around 50. Chance for showers and thunderstorms on Friday. And a chance for showers on Saturday and Sunday. We start to dry out, though, after that.